apparently Bear had been uh, releasing the salts at uh, some Boston schools, uh, whereas students were using city issued uh, Chromebooks as weapons. Uh, At the three star uh, schools, uh, so between the time of uh, April 28th and May 3rd, at the Richard Murphy uh, School in Dorchester, Joyce uh, Kilmer School in West Roxbury, and at Boston Latin Academy in Roxbury. So the first one uh, that happened uh, was uh, at uh, Richard Murphy uh, School on uh, April 28th, uh, where a seventh grader was struck in the head with and the face with a Chromebook. So they're using that as a weapon, so hitting them. So apparently uh, this was a female student, uh, so uh, the parent, uh, Karen Pam, uh, said uh, the attack left the daughter bloody and so injured that she needed five stitches at the hospital. So the daughter was uh, hit pretty hard. So on May 2nd, uh, another female student uh, was struck at least six times in the head with a Chromebook at uh, Joyce uh, Kilmer School. Uh, Apparently attacked by a former friend, and uh, this uh, student was apparently uh, she was a hospital this uh, due to a concussion, so hit it very hard. So on May third, the day after, uh, apparently uh, a boy was uh, targeted uh, by a girl. on a head over a classroom a seat uh, dispute uh, so they're arguing uh, who gets to, who gets to sit where uh, and she got mad and uh, she hit the boy in the head so with the first incident uh, apparently the the uh, girl, she was uh, resting her head on the desk uh, when uh, when she got hit in the head. So that would, of course, uh, add more to the damage. Uh. So apparently the person uh, who did it, some fellow uh, classmates uh, heard uh, the person who attacked her. Uh, the girl uh, thought it was he, so apparently as a male student he thought he thought it was funny. So I think it was, like, it was just a joke to her, just like a hit the head hit someone on the head with the laptop. So with the uh, attack uh, on the main uh, second, with uh, when the former friend attacked uh, also the other female student, uh, but unfortunately. Uh, while the per that person, the former friend who did it, uh, got suspended for only a few days and then continued to harass the former friend uh, after returning to school, uh, according to the, the mother of the student. Uh, so, Lani uh, Pego Guerrero reports and uh, Unfortunately, the school also uh, they failed to report to the incident the Boston Police Department uh, about it, and uh,
So with the uh, one on May 3rd, uh, after the... Where the, the girl hit the boy on the head with the Chromebook uh, on the head uh, due to the classroom seating and uh, she didn't like it and... Uh, So the victim, the boy, his parents uh, had filed a report uh, because the school did not uh, take action for it. And uh, and unfortunately, the the officer who was responding, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, he said that he was uh, unable to uh, get information because uh, apparently the. The school was uh, was withholding information from uh, the police uh, to uh, get information about uh, this attack on that boy. That boy. So, uh, and apparently, schools in a Boston uh, public uh, school uh, district uh, are not allowed to share specific information about the student with the police. Uh, apparently, due to uh, the some federal student uh, privacy laws uh, as uh, outgoing superintendent uh, Brenda Castellius uh, had uh, explained uh, although uh, Brenda Castellius uh, also was said that uh, law enforcement uh, could uh, appeal to the school department lawyer if the uh, information that required uh, well the school district attorney office that uh, said the prosecutors need to uh, have a record to acquire specific information uh, before bringing a criminal charges against students or uh, yet since they are, they did not let them um, uh, They were like, uh, the, the school board literally let the uh, you know, report that uh, and uh, three attacks on these, uh, the two girls and uh, bo one boy. Where the uh, students uh, were, the three students, uh, each different uh, school, were uh, literally uh, attacking people. The, the the victims uh, the targets with uh, a Chromebook. Yet uh, apparently the school is uh, being lazy and they don't care. Which they say uh, the safety of our students, students and staff is their highest priority. But the BPS uh, policy requires police to be notified whenever there's an imminent uh, risk to the health and safety of staff or and or students. All interested in involving students and safety require BPS staff to notify parents and or guardians. In uh, addition, BPS uh, staff work with students and families to create individual safety plans to ensure that our students and staff experience a safe environment. Which if they backed off of it, I don't know what the uh, state uh, cause does. Well, because they're actually uh, supposed to call the police when they uh, do that. So to health and safety, according to Brenda Castellius. Uh, although then, like, apparently the school hasn't uh, done anything about, about it because apparently uh, at the middle school, uh, the middle school in Boston, uh, apparently a teacher that had burns on her face uh, after a student threw a cup of uh, boiling ramen noodles at her. 
and the principal did not say anything about it and did not report it to the Boston Police uh, Department. Which, apparently that student was harming a teacher, which is technically an attack and that would actually uh, be a good reason for the school to report it, but the school uh, was being lazy about it and the school board has been lazy about it. Which, due to this, uh, the first, uh, the first, uh, student, uh, parents, uh, Karen Tom, and her family have, uh, hired a lawyer and to sue the, the school for, uh, school board for, uh, neg like sent uh, supervision and uh, which uh, the lawyer John Peck said we are seeking damages from the Boston Public Schools uh, after my client was subject to bullying and, uh, and threats of violence for months accumulating in an assault on April 28 2022 so that the daughter the first uh, one who got attacked. So she was a bullying victim and also threat a target for uh, violence and uh, the school did not do anything about it. Which also he continues that uh, the school knew of the threats of the violence against my clients. Administrators and teachers knew a student was in danger and nothing was done to protect her. My client now has a permanent scar on her face because of that inaction. So that uh, the daughter of uh, Karen Pam has a scar on her face after she got attacked when she was like just resting her face on a, on a desk and then and then a student literally hit her on the face, in the head. So, due to reports, uh, reports showing, the Boston Police Department uh, reported a total of 795 school incidents from the recent uh, current uh, school year in March during the 2019-2020 school year they responded to 951 uh, cases because uh, uh, so it shows that uh, that Boston uh, Public uh, School uh, District uh, School Board has been lazy they did not they do not care about their students and unfortunately, this has been too common these days with uh, schools. According to the Boston Globe, uh, reports that declined the number of the, the, the significant by the school officials are not consistently contacted police to report incidents. Additionally, officers patrolling uh, schools have been replaced by safety specialists with no arrest uh, power since September 2021, which uh, can also uh, play a role in the dis uh, decline. So, so many uh, students are uh, having to uh, deal with uh, bullying, attacks, violence, threats, and yet the school just the school board did nothing to. Uh, do something about it. Unfortunately, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, all, all of these uh, are uh, from uh, a Asian American students, and this is just unfortunate. Uh, and and not only that. Schools are supposed to uh, report uh, bullying and any other form of action, but uh, 
they will continuously say bullying is bad do not bully talk to a teacher we'll do something about it yet it never gets resolved so there's a little small chance that actually something gets done about it and unfortunately over in Boston students are suffering because of a uh, lack of a uh, safety of uh, students and also teachers unfortunately for that teacher who got uh, and boiling uh, hot water in her face and uh, she could like uh, yeah she could get scalded in her face and uh, no that which is like a hot water burn Now the Boston uh, School Board is, is at fault for this. And not only that, uh, this should be reported uh, to the police r right away. So if you see any reports like this, uh, please contact the police and uh, and uh, also if uh, in this case uh, someone who is uh, working for the school should uh, report it and they need to do a better job about it Asian students uh, they need to also uh, get protection because uh, uh, also they're being target targeted by racism to uh, not just the black students or the Latinos and the natives So let's just hope something is uh, done about uh, schools and uh, school safety and also uh, bullying. And all schools need to do this internationally and uh, especially in North America where there's a, there's a lot of neglect. They need to work on it.